Hey everyone, you may want to buckle up for this morning's creative pick me up because I know a lot of you out there like to uh, express your creativity through things that you wear. So this morning I thought it would be fun to introduce you to the idea of possibly creating some of your own belt buckles and maybe the belts to go with them. What I love about belt buckles, um, they're just like these little small statement making canvases or sculptures uh, that you can wear on your waist front and center. You can get all kinds kinds of different looks with them. This is my kind of eclectic collection of buckles that I have in front of me here that I've had going for many, many years. Uh, a lot of them I've picked up at flea markets. Some of them I've made myself. There's also some amazing artisans out there that are creating beautiful pieces. Or like I said, you can take matters into your own hands and create your own signature belt buckles that are really all about you and your style and your handiwork. And what makes it easy for you to get started uh, playing around with creating your own belt buckles is the fact that there are all kinds of belt buckle uh, blanks and accessories that give you the perfect starting point for some of these. And these are typically sold wherever they sell um, leatherworking supplies. So a lot of your art supply stores have a leatherworking section. Um, there's the Leather Factory, which is um, in north side of Des Moines. That shop has everything that you need to create these. Um, and of course, uh, you can find them online. They're reasonably priced um, and they come in a few different shapes and sizes. And then uh, again, the mechanics are here. This gives you a great uh, foundation. And then you just to get to take your creativity and embellish them and add things to them. And really, um, you know, this is your own little canvas that you can take and tailor it to whatever your style is, whatever materials you like to work with, whatever resources you have available to you. Some of the fun ways I like to use these metal ones. Uh, I love these vintage license plates and you can drill through these uh, blanks pretty easily so you could adhere different metal tags, um, different types of metal that you've kind of altered and done fun things with. Uh, the vintage license plates I just drilled holes and then I used double cap rivets to hold that into place. That was an easy way to create a really fun uh, belt buckle. I've got a couple of different looks for those. Uh, again, the tags. You can also play around with paints. Um, I've done all kinds of things with these blanks and some turned out better than others. Uh, some are just ugly. <laughs> But uh, that's what, have, you know, you got to play around with some different things uh, to kind of get to that sweet spot of what you like and what you're working with. You can also get um, leather pieces that are fitted for these different blanks. And this is just a really nice way for you to experiment with some leather working uh, and your own dyes and stains. You could do some tooling on here. Um, you could uh, paint. You can do all kinds of things to leather to create a cool look. And then they just adhere to the front of these blanks. There's also some variety varieties that uh, go around the entire blank and then you stitch them into place and those will give you uh, an even more kind of a, a true western feel to your uh, buckles if that's kind of your thing but lots of different ways that you can dress up the fronts of these blanks and again everything's there it's just a really it's just a unique canvas for you to build up off of and play around with and create kind of some fun looks with you can also get these are just um, these buckle uh, accessories, and you can attach these to the backside of just about anything. So you can turn anything and everything into a belt buckle. So maybe you have some cool found objects, again, some vintage pieces. Um, I have, you know, like these circuit boards that came out of computers. They make for fun belt buckles uh, if you're like a techie. Uh, so lots of creative things. You could go really big and be obnoxious. Maybe something for uh, this a little more costumey. <laughs> but some of them are pretty cool, and you dress them up with a really cool um, leather belt. And and you can, again, it's that statement making piece that you can wear front and center. And you can also attach these to wood is a really great, um, uh, platform to use as your buckle because you can do so many different things with it. You can work with all kinds of different uh, exotic woods. Um, you can glue woods together to create different patterns and colors, um, working with uh, the different grain patterns. You can cut them down into different thicknesses, different sizes, and different shapes. You can do all kinds of finishes with them. You can play around with um, creating some inlays, uh, some fun epoxies, and just lots of uh, cool things that you 
can do with wood. You can carve on them. You can add things to the fronts of them. You can paint on them. Just so many different uh, possibilities. Lots of creative opportunity. Again, I've made some that were less than uh, wearable, <laughs> but I also made a lot that I absolutely love. And the more you do, uh, the more ideas it fuels and the better you get uh, and you kind of really tap into what types of materials you like to work best with uh, these. You can also get uh, your belts uh, to go with your uh, belt buckles because you do need to have a belt that has the, um, the snaps on the end so it's easy for you to interchange all of your different uh, buckles. So you need to have a special belt and you can get the belt blanks as well where you can just, um, you can dye them, you can uh, size them to whatever your size is, clip the ends of them so you can really tailor these um, so you could get a few different blanks and have, you know, some black ones, some brown ones, but this is another way to um, experiment. Leatherworking is a really satisfying um, creative activity as well, so uh, you can get the belts to go with your buckles and it's just a really fulfilling uh, creative endeavor overall. So I say buckle up and uh, get ready to belt out that creativity loud and proud and then I encourage you to wear it well.